Grade Seven: The Valley of Fear by Arthur Conan Doyle. Character description. For more videos on the same topic and many other novels and play scripts, please subscribe my channel. Learners on board. Characters: Sherlock Holmes, arguably the most famous fictional character in history. Sherlock Holmes is synonymous with great detective. In the Valley of Fear, he seems to penetrate the mystery rather quickly, and the true heart of the story lies in the second part. Still, he remains intellectually superior without a doubt, even when surrounded by other successful detectives. Dr. John Watson. Dr. John Watson is the loyal sidekick of Sherlock Holmes. appearing in almost every sherlock holmes story ever written by conan doyle watson's presence is fairly insignificant in this particular novel appearing appearing in only a few scenes in which holmes was not present as well watson is often described as stout and somewhat withdrawn as well as being very easy going in nature professor james moriarty He does not ever actually appear in the Valley of Fear. He is only referenced, and at the end of the book, Holmes receives a short note from him. Nonetheless, Moriarty remains one of the central characters of this novel, and he is revealed to be the mastermind behind Douglas' demise. John Douglas, Jack McMurdo, or Birdy Edwards. This crucial and multi-dimensional character to whom we will refer as Douglas for the sake of clarity could really be considered three different characters contained in one man. Introduced at the beginning of this story as John John Deck uh, as John Douglas, this man appears to be a faceless victim simply the object of Holmes' investigation. Towards the end of part 1, however, Doc Douglas is revealed to be very much alive and he commences to share his history which comprises nearly the entirety of part 2 During this story within a story we learn that Douglas once bore the name Jack McMurdo and that he was part of a notorious gang in the United States which was not unlike the mafia At the end of part two, however, we learn that McMurdo is really a Pinkerton detective named Birdie Edwards. Throughout all three of his identities, Douglas is described as fearless, intelligent, and good-humored. Douglas is an example of Conan Doyle's skill as a writer, in that the reader is able to accept with little difficulty the composition of the three-in-one character. Boss Body Master McGinty Boss McGinty is one of the major villains of this novel the cruel and brutal leader of the scourers a murderous society not unlike the mafia McGinty is a fearsome leader described as looking almost like a lion with fierce eyes and a mane like beard McGinty is the undisputed lord of Vermissa Valley which many call the valley of fear the body master the title of the head of the scourers rules over the valley with an iron fist crushing anyone who gets in his way through the agents beneath him inspector macdonald scotland yard's main law enforcement official on the douglas case and a friend of homes McDonald is a smart, efficient, young and stoic. White Mason, the local law enforcement man on the Douglas case, friendly and helpful, he nonetheless feels like he's in over his head. Mrs. Ivy Douglas, John Douglas's second wife, Mrs. Douglas Ivy, is young and beautiful. She suspects something is wrong with her husband regarding his past. 
but he keeps her ignorant. She and Cecil decide to fabricate the crime scene, but then they confess to Holmes and the others. Cecil Barker, the wealthy and handsome American friend of Mr. Douglas, who helps orchestrate the crime scene to protect Douglas. He is initially arrogant, but ultimately he comes around to letting the detectives help. Ames, the elderly and loyal butler, chief servant at Manor House. Mrs. Allen, the elderly and deaf housekeeper at Manor House. Scanlon, he is the scourer whom McMurdo meets on the train into coal country. Scanlon is amiable, helpful and a loyal member of the ancient order of free men. But he does not like violence as much as some of the others do. Eddie Shafter, the lovely daughter of Jack Jacob Shafter, the man with whom McMurdo boards, she and McMurdo falls in love, but their relationship is strained by Baldwin's claim on her. Along with the dangerous situations McMurdo faces due to his status as a brother, when McMurdo reveals himself as Birdie Edwards, she feels the valley with him. She later dies in California. Jacob Shafter, Addie's father and a stout enemy of the ancient order of free men. Teddy Baldwin, the young and hot-headed brother who wants to marry Etty and represents, excuse me, and resents McMurdo getting in his way. He continually butts heads with McMurdo. However, he grudgingly accepts him until his true identity is revealed. He tracks McMurdo to England and tries to kill him. Instead, McMurdo Douglas kills Baldwin in self-defense. Morris, an elderly brother who disapproves of the scourers' violent tactics and warns that they must be careful in their targets. He seeks out McMurdo as an ally and later provides the information about the Pinkerton spy to McMurdo, thereby unwittingly providing it to the spy himself. Lawler and Andreos, the assassins sent to carry out the murder at the mine. Chester Wilcox, a local mine owner targeted by the scourers. James Stanger, the newspaper editor critical of the scourers. McGinty orders him to be beaten. Captain Marvin, the new member of the Iron and Coal Police, who initially seems to be an enemy of McMurdo. Later, however, he is revealed to be in on McMurdo's true identity as a Pinkerton undercover agent. Thank you. For more videos on the same topic and for many more novels and play scripts, please subscribe my channel, Learners on Board.